Hello everyone, morning, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to the Northern California Home Gardening Channel. So if you look at it here, you know, this is a Roma tomatoes and uh, this is a determinant variety of tomato. Um, so I've shown you some videos on growing the indeterminate variety. And uh, so the difference between mainly the determinant and indeterminate variety is that uh, in case of uh, determinant, it will be growing only up to a certain uh, uh, certain inches tall, right? Probably about uh, two to three meters high. And the indeterminate variety keeps on growing and then uh, it will continuously yield. Indeterminate varieties, you know, would require a lot of uh, maintenance and uh, determinate variety would require very, very less maintenance. So what I figured in my experience is that uh, it's better to go with the determinate variety of tomatoes, especially if you are living in uh, zone 9 region because uh, they don't survive uh, the entire winter indeterminate variety tomatoes right that's one reason you know why you wanted to grow uh, determinant because anyway you're going to grow uh, the determinant variety will be mostly it will die actually after the season is over but it will grow a lot of yield and uh, it's very very less maintenance so if you go to green acres or some other place you know you can get uh, indeterminate variety of tomatoes uh, sorry determinate variety of tomatoes probably about six i got a six of them for about four dollars right so it's very very cheap so when during the beginning of the season you can buy them and then plant it so i planted these about uh, so this one over here and then this one over here i just planted them about uh, uh, maybe about uh, three to four weeks ago maybe three weeks ago started already growing quite a bit actually and um, so um, so it's going to eat a lot of fruits and roma tomatoes is what this one is and uh, i'm just looking at standard tomatoes and then you know grow the uh, you know get these tomatoes right so they're going to go grow bushy and uh, so these leaves that you are seeing, you know, uh, in indeterminate varieties, you know, I'll provide a link actually, you know, how to uh, prune it. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to prune these uh, determinate varieties. And uh, these are very, very, very much disease resistant and uh, not much disease uh, so far. And they are disease resistant and also they grow quickly and they get you abundant uh, tomatoes actually. Look at this, right? we have been growing pretty good actually. I'm going to quickly show you how to uh, prune them. So especially once they have grown like two to three weeks, um, let me show you how to uh, prune them. Just take a clippers here and then what you do is, you know, you see these, uh, the bottom ones actually, the bottom ones. So the bottom ones have to be clipped because uh, these ones, a couple of reasons why you want to clip them. So one is, you know, they'll, they'll have disease actually because it's kind of ending up at the bottom. So what you do is, you know, you take a clippers. I think you can probably see what I'm showing here. You see this uh, right here. The one that is growing in the bottom so you got to clip them so what happens when you clip them right so it will get more air circulation from the bottom right it helps air circulation from the bottom and uh, it keeps the plant healthy so i'm just going to clip these easily clip it and uh, i'm going to remove these uh, little ones also which are there on the ground because once they are there on the ground it will start having disease once it falls on the ground so i'm just going to clip it take it away there's one more here actually you see this right so and also i'm going to clip it off so this will help actually the air circulation go from the bottom so i'm going to clip this also and that's it right so probably probably this one right here i'm going to clip it and uh, so what happens you know in these plants right you're going to have a lot of suckers and you're not going to clip the suckers because the more suckers right it's going to grow more bushy and uh, it's growing going to give you more yield of tomatoes so don't click the uh, prune the suckers but in case of uh, determinant tomatoes you have to uh, prune those uh, suckers actually right because otherwise it becomes a big plant but in this case uh, you have to leave those suckers right it will give you a bushy one and then it will give you a nice now you see on the bottom so i'm going to try to see if i can nicely clip this also you see i've just clipped on the bottom and that's the only maintenance I have to do. This one probably, probably, maybe it's kind of falling down here. So I'm going to clip this one also. It's okay. I'm going to clip it. That's it. Right. So this tomato is now completely done. And um, so it's going to grow bushy. And it's going to give me a lot of uh, yield. You see these uh, little flowers. These little, little flowers are going to become nice uh, fruits. And if you want to hand pollinate them, I'll show you one more trick. You've got to just take it and then tap it. And uh, if you tap this, actually, it will it will kind of pollinate. Hopefully, you learned something new uh, today, actually, about the determinant variety of tomatoes. 
So if you're really a new gardener and going between determinant and indeterminate variety of tomato, I would suggest you to go with the determinant variety of tomato. If you really like the video, please do click like and if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and you'll get notifications uh, when I put the new videos.